Since I discovered that I've got gas in my oil and uh, I've got a rebuild kit for my fuel pump on its way, I figured I might as well rebuild my uh, clutch master cylinder since that's been weeping on me and I have the rebuild kit for it already. Might as well do it that way I don't have to do it later and keep her out of commission even longer, you know. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I actually use a syringe, uh, a syringe and the hose from my uh, brake bleeding bottle to suck out the brake fluid from the clutch reservoir. So you can see in there that the inner, uh, this inner part is where the clutch uh, feeds off of and the outer part here is for the brakes, which is handy. So I've got the clutch all pulled out and I'm just going to try and pull out the uh, ma the master cylinder. I already took the plate off, this plate uh, more or less. I didn't get that last one, but you can swing it out of the way. I broke the, all those screws loose, which is with, uh, with this. It's actually an impact driver, an impact, uh, yeah, an impact screwdriver. I bought this thing at Harbor Freight. It's so nice for getting stuck screws and whatnot out because, uh, well, I guess might as well show you. The uh, way it works is you'd grab a bit, sticker in the uh, front end, and actually this whole piece comes off and it's a uh, half inch drive, uh, half inch square drive so you can run sockets on it as well. It doesn't work the greatest for them. Because the way because the way it works is you put it on there, and then you put it on your screw, and then you hit the thing on the back with a hammer. And what's inside is there's a cam that as this gets pushed in. Let's see if you can focus. I don't want to focus. As it gets pushed in, the uh, head of it rotates. And with the mass in the handle, it basically pushes into the screw while breaking it loose. And it works really well. I've broken loose a bunch of the, uh, I broke loose those screws. I broke lo loose a bunch of the screws holding floor panels in inside the cab. And it just really is good at not stripping them. That's a very handy thing to have. I think that was like 10 bucks at Harbor Freight. So, um, so yeah, I don't have line wrenches, so I'm just trying to find the best way to do this without line wrenches. So that one appears to be 7 sixteenths. I haven't actually tested this yet. Uh, that one's a little bigger. So 7 sixteenths goes down to the clutch and it's a bigger one for that one so I'm just going to kind of pull this out and uh, I'll meet you back when I'm rebuilding it so after quite a bit of struggling finally got her out the old leaky uh, clutch master cylinder so uh, yeah I've got a rebuild kit for this I'll probably uh, run the, a scotch bright inside just like I did with uh, the wheel cylinders. Should work out just nice, just beautifully. It was a bit of a struggle and I had to use a, <laughs> a bit of a contrived uh, set of tools. Uh, you can see where I chowdered the uh, threads right here on the opposite side. But uh, yeah, because this nut was stuck on and uh, as you can see this spins freely. So I didn't, and this nut was just unwinding itself. So uh, yeah, I finally got that off, and uh, here we are. I'll put a picture of it right about here. Yeah, and I also uh, had my wife helping me with uh, getting the bottom bolt out. That that is a bit of a difficult area to get to. If you look on, you see the hole with the, the bottom bolt hole down down there. You got to come in through the bottom of the foot well with a wrench to hold it and with the adjustable wrench I was just able to get one uh, one tooth of ratchet on 
the inside there. So got her off. It's a bit difficult, but uh, yeah, I did. Hopefully, going in will be a tad bit easier. Well, I gotta go to work now, so that'll be all for right now, and probably post another video of uh, taking this thing apart and rebuilding it. Or maybe not, depending on how much time I've got. So, yeah. Catch you on the next one.